Hello, hello. Phoenix already ships with awesome logging for us. But if you upgraded your Phoenix live reload to 1.5 without, looking at the change log you may have missed, two cool changes that can make us stream our server logs directly to our browser console. Let's take a look at it. We have a generated live view app here. It's pretty crud, so it's basic. And you can see it already shows us a whole bunch of stuff, uh, right? It's when we mount and, and things like that. But it's not the server logs. Let's take a look at how we can change that. We have our config dev here in the section where you configure your endpoint in the live reload section. We're going to go ahead and add a web, web console logger to true. And this is the, the server side. We also need to update the JavaScript side to receive those logs. So let's go ahead into our app.js. And over here, we're going to add a new event listener. We're going to listen to the Phoenix live reload attach, and we're going to pull in the reloader from there, and we're going to enable server logs. Now there's another mode, maybe this gets too noisy and you can disable this. And if you want to do that, just attach it to the window and then you can enable it per session. You go to console, live reloader, enable server logs, and you would see them that way. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and enable them by default. And now I'm going to go ahead and reload my server, restart the app. And now let's take a look at this. As soon as I refresh, you can see we have a whole lot more information. We have the live view what query was made, the handle params, right? Let's navigate a little bit through here so you can see more of the logs being published there. Back to posts, just a wealth of information. Two changes and a ton of benefit. I hope you like it.